two-part question, I guess. Do you have any idea on like Eddie's original ending and the whole like Dylan theory? There is. I remember conversations about like, be, like he eventually he would sit us down with a bottle of bottle of something and go over the whole ending. I do know that it, it pretty much kind of went the way that it was going to go. I don't think it, it didn't hit the points that it was supposed to along oh, the way. Did he actually tell you? Not 100%. I'm still waiting to... How much percent? Because he, yeah, he, last time I asked, he said, like, yeah, get me really drunk and I'll tell you. Yeah, exactly. But, um, but what, how, how far did he... Get, I, don't, I don't know. I, 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 I can't, honestly, I can't even remember. I'd be, I'd be interested but to find it, out if But he you remembers. remember it was, like, something similar to what happened? Or? But, uh, like, basically, it would, I, I think it would have ended up... Like, I mean, you know, the, obviously the series ended and it was, the Vengex was still in the in the morpher at the end, so Vengex wasn't destroyed. Um, I think it would have been that idea with a little more, a little more tied in with a little more, well, I mean, there's consequence in that. I don't know. I can't speak to it because I didn't, I didn't come up with it. I would love to find out, though. All I know is I would have gotten a fucking morpher. <laughs> so Power Rangers RPM is regarded as one of the best seasons of the franchise, probably one of the most beloved by fans. But did you know that it had an original ending that was planned from the get-go? But before we get to that original ending, we have to know where we started with the beginning of Power Rangers RPM. So Power Rangers RPM was going to be the last season of Power Rangers by Disney. And Disney said to the producer, the executive producer at the time, Eddie Gazlion, said, do whatever you want with the series, we're ending it. So Eddie was like, sure, whatever. And he planned on making a post apocalyptic world of Power Rangers. But the only problem was... He hadn't seen the footage of the Sentai. And since Eddie hadn't seen the Sentai and knew what source material he was dealing with, we got this famous quote that I found from his wiki page. Holy shit, I just promised Disney I could turn this into a show that would appeal to an order audience. I must be out of my fucking mind. Holy shit. Wait, what's that on the front of the Zord? Are those motherfucking eyeballs? There were even more problems with Eddie working on the show because he hadn't ever worked on a live action series before, even Power Rangers. He was very, very new to this game. But luckily, series veterans Jackie Marchland and John Telligan helped him out learning what Power Rangers is all about. Eddie also brought on his own two writers, Matthew Negrate and Madeline Paxson, to help him out. Things got even worse for Eddie where he had to micromanage his scripts and a lot of them were delayed. And the last episode he worked on of Power Rangers RPM was episode 15, Ghost. And this was the last episode he worked on because after that, Disney fired him due to the script delays, so his original ending for Power Rangers RPM had to be scrapped. And we're going to get to that original ending eventually, don't worry. There's also a rumor that Eddie blew most of the budget during the first half of Power Rangers RPM, so Bandai had to pay off the rest. If that's true, that is really crazy that happened to blow all that budget so quickly. But that's film and TV for you. So after Eddie was fired, series veteran Judd Lin was hired to pick up the pieces and try and finish off Power Rangers RPM. And from what I've heard and done the research on through this Reddit page that I found through interviews and stuff like that, apparently... Judd was walking into a mess that he had to pick up and finish before production was done. But if you want to read the quote what Judd Lynn said about where he joined RPM midway through, I'll leave a link to that Reddit post in the description down below. It's an interesting read and it's what helped me in my research trying to figure out how the original ending of Power Rangers RPM was meant to be. So let's talk about the ending of Power Rangers RPM. Not the original ending, we're getting there. I swear we're getting to the original ending that was planned. So the ending for Power Rangers RPM. Tanaya is Dylan's sister. Everyone defeats Vengex and goes off into the sunset and the world is saved but unfortunately Vengex is somehow still alive trapped in that suitcase I've talked about it plenty plenty of times where I want to find out what the hell is going on with that suitcase and I guess we'll never find out because it ended on a cliffhanger like that but anyways let's talk about the original ending right now the ending that was planned so the finale is called Ranger Black, and it's a very interesting title because Dylan never got a title episode centered around it. We got Ranger Blue, Ranger Red, Ranger Yellow. We never got Ranger Black, and that's why the finale was meant to be called Ranger Black. You see, Vengex is finally destroyed. Summer chooses the boy she wants to be with, which probably was going to be Dylan, and this activates his sleeper program in Dylan. And this is where things get crazy because everything we knew about Dylan was a lie. Him and Tanaya, 
That was fake. That was meant to lead the Rangers taking them into their ranks to earn Dylan's trust or to earn the Rangers' trust. So Dylan never existed at all. He was never a thing, never meant to happen. So Vengix is Dylan's true body. It's his final host. And that means Vengix controls the Morphin grid. Kind of like a villain we're seeing right now on Power Rangers, eh? Eh? So this would force the Rangers to fight their friend, someone they loved, someone they cared about. They would be have to force to put him down and put him out of their misery, killing one of their friends, killing what they thought was a human character, fighting them to the death. And this was probably going to be some really intense fight scene. I can picture it now. Scott getting his ass kicked, and I'm guessing the final person that would deliver the final blow would be Summer, since she loved Dylan, so it'd be putting your loved one out of their misery, killing them once and for all. That would have been a freaking crazy finale if that was meant to happen summer killing dylan like you can picture it now just this awesome battle fire and smoke everywhere destruction i can just picture it now how would how it would have ended it would have been really freaking crazy and if this actually happened, this would have been a dark, dark way to end Power Rangers if the series was never coming back if they didn't get renewed for Samurai. That'd be freaking crazy to end the series on that. So yeah, that's how Eddie probably planned to end Power Rangers RPM. I'm hoping one day when he gets invited out to Power Morphicon or some kind of convention, we can hear it from the man himself how he planned on ending the series. It'd be cool to hear him talk about it at a panel with a bunch of people, but I doubt that might ever happen. That I'm some of the actors know how the series was going to end, but I guess we'll never hear it from them, so I guess it's speculative he actually did plan to end it with a Ranger Black episode, but who knows? Maybe someday we'll hear the ending of Power Rangers RPM from the man himself.